Hello everyone, back to you into today's first video. We're doing JMA Friday for today's first video. So as always on a Friday, we've got your month head look at it. It's going to take us just into the beginning of April. Uh, can you believe? So have a look at JMA first of all. Then we'll have a look at CFSB2. We'll see how the two compare. And uh, we'll see what trends we can pick out for the next four weeks. Will there be signs of some higher pressure? You'll find out very shortly. Uh, before I get on with that, though, just say that the second video update coming up later on this afternoon will be the uh, regular week to 10 day video update with all of the usual features, and that will be with you later on today. So I'm going to start off with the JMA 500 millibar height anomalies from the Arctic and North Pole view down. So, uh, of course, this is the uh, North Pole of the Arctic, just here. The wider Arctic is around there. And then we've got the middle latitudes around here. Uh, these are broken down into uh, weekly periods, and uh, blue is extrapolated to below average heights, which is low pressure, yellow, orange, and red to above average heights, which is high pressure. As I say, they break down to weekly periods. The first week period will take us from the 6th through to the 13th of March, and the coming week looks unsettled with below average heights again to the north and west of the country. That's been the case throughout the past few months, of course. Above average heights to our south. And the westerlies continue with uh, quite a strong jet stream. The uh, black lines there indicating really quite a strong jet coming across the Atlantic into the UK and the west of Europe. So, yes, a very unsettled uh, week to come as well. Rather on the chilly side as well this week. The jet stream is a bit further southwards than it has been at times through this winter. And that allows, uh, and now of course into the start of the spring, and that allows some uh, cold air to move into the trough of low pressure. So rather cool and unsettled in week here. Uh, week two takes us from the 13th to the 20th of uh, March. And this time we start to see the above average heights beginning to build and strengthen a little bit to the south. The below average heights are still there to the north and west, but they're beginning to weaken a little bit. So it might be starting to turn a little bit drier here, uh, particularly for southern parts of the country. Northern air is probably still quite unsettled. It's not a quick transition into drier conditions. But yes, it does look as though things by the middle part of March could be starting to get a little bit drier and milder, uh, particularly so for more southern parts of the country. And then the real change takes place in weeks three and four, which takes us from the 20th of March to the 3rd of April. Uh, we find above average heights then properly taking over. We've got an area of high pressure there sitting, not just over the UK, but across many northern and western parts of Europe. Below average heights being pushed out towards the northwest. The uh, jet stream is doing something a little bit like that. It's rising northwards. So that looks like spring is uh, properly getting underway there into the second half of March, uh, just into the beginning of April. We should be going into much drier and also potentially uh, rather uh, warmer conditions, rather milder conditions. I suppose nights could still be a bit cold, but overall that looks like proper spring getting going there as we come towards the latter stages of March and into the beginning of April. Uh, so let's confirm that then with the um, mid-latitude and tropical view. So uh, on this view, the British Isles in the top right-hand corner of the chart as you are looking at it. A reminder of a week one, 500 millibar high to normal. You can't see the Arctic and the North Pole and Scandinavia and those areas there off the chart up here. But we know what's going on broadly because we've seen the uh, seen the situation a couple of minutes ago. So uh, week one, which takes us from the uh, 6th to the 13th of March, has uh, an unsettled flavour, I think, with below average heights um, pretty much over the coast. Actually, quite a strong jet stream coming across the Atlantic as well. Temperature anomalies are being forecast to be mild now, which I'm not sure it could be as mild as this. I think it could be a little bit on the cool side, actually, uh, quite a lot of the time. But the model itself, because it's seeing these westerly winds, is forecasting above average temperatures. However, I don't think it'll be quite as mild as that. And also very unsettled, which you'd expect with uh, low pressure continuing to dominate. So, yes, another significantly wetter than average week coming up in the weekend. I'm going to go through to week two, which, of course, is going to take us from the 13th to the 20th of March. This time, the above average heights are beginning to strengthen to our south. But jet stream starting to go northwards. Jet stream starting to be pushed northwards. So that looks like it's beginning to transition into a rather drier pattern. Actually, the temperature normally falls a little bit uh, this week. It goes back close to average. 
And the precipitation anomaly is drying. Still wet on average for the north. So northern areas still above average precipitation. Southern areas, though, look like they're starting to dry out. And then, of course, weeks three and four has high pressure taking over. This takes us from the 20th of March to the 3rd of April. And this time we have above average heights sitting over the UK. We come over here also covering much of central, western and northern Europe as well. Temperature anomalies are beginning to lift up in these two weeks, so it is turning milder. And I agree with that, although I say nights could be a bit colder. Uh, but uh, in the ever-strengthening spring sunshine, I imagine temperatures could easily lift up into mid-teens in uh, that situation. And of course, with high pressure sitting over the country, it's also drying out as well. So finally, we lose the deluge and we lose the rain and we go into something rather drier. Keep in mind, however, that a couple of weeks ago, the JMA was forecasting this change too much drier conditions to take place through the first half of March. That has been pushed back now to the second half of March. So whether it ever actually verifies remains to be seen. But that's definitely the direction that JMA is going in today, which is drier uh, and also warmer into the second half of March. Let's just have a look at CFSB2, see how that compares. So again, these are 500 millibar heights broken out into week periods. The first week period takes us from the 6th to the 12th of March. The coming week looks unsettled. Agreement between the JMA and the CFS on this first week, week one. Low pressure out to the north and west. High pressure to our south and southwest. Jet stream coming across the Atlantic. It's the pattern of a winter. It still goes on for the coming week. So, yes, an unsettled week ahead. Week two takes us from the 13th to the 19th of March, still looking unsettled. Now, this is when we was, uh, at one point, looking like it was going to build in high pressure. Now, CFS keeps things unsettled with the pattern of the winter going on into the middle of March. Um, so, low pressure to the north and the west, high pressure to the south, southwest. Quite a strong jet stream across the Atlantic still. And a bit on the cool side as well here as we go into the middle part of March. The air is coming out of Greenland on a northwest southeast alignment of jet stream. So not only unsettled, but also quite chilly uh, into the middle part of March. Moving through to uh, weeks three and four, there we are. We find that again, similar to what JMA is showing, maybe a little bit delayed, but similar to what JMA is showing from the 20th to 26th of March, we begin to raise the heights to the south and weaken the low pressure up to the northwest. It is still to the northwest, but gradually heights are rising. This is a transitional period by the look of it, gradually. Uh, moving towards drier and potentially warmer conditions. And then we get to week four. There we go. We're under high pressure then. 27th of March to the 2nd of April. Above average heights building in from off the Atlantic into the UK and much of Western and Northern Europe. Low pressure pushed northwards up towards Greenland. Jet streams pushed northwards as well. And so spring is properly commencing. It's turning much drier there. will be turning much drier and also it would be uh, turning uh, warmer as well in the ever strengthening spring sunshine. So again the CFS and JAM are in line with one another. Second half of March now is when we're uh, when we're sort of um, seeing the hints of uh, high pressure. These are the temperature anomalies. So week one temperature anomalies from CFSB2 from the 6th to 12th of March above average. Again, I'm not sure it's going to be that mild in the week ahead. I think a lot of the time it could be quite cool, to be honest. Week two from the 13th to the 19th of March. Again, above average temperature anomalies, particularly so to the south, a little bit below average uh, to the north and the west. Week three is the 20th, 26th of March. Still a little bit above average of the south, but going closer to normal. And then week four, despite the ridge building in, actually, maybe a bit surprisingly, uh, the temperature on me is only coming out around average from the 27th of March to the 2nd of April. That could, of course, be because under the high pressure we're seeing, um, under the high pressure we're seeing cold nights, maybe, uh, with chances of some late season frost. I wouldn't be ruling that possibility out. And as far as precipitation is concerned, finally from CFSV2 from the 6th to the 12th of March, week one, above average generally for most parts of the country, particularly through northern and western areas. Week two also hints at being a bit above average, particularly to the north and west, uh, with precipitation from the 13th to the 19th of March. Week three looks like it's starting to move towards something a little bit drier. Uh, so we're going close to average into the south of us, it is drier 
than average. And then week four actually hints at being a relatively drier than average week. From the 27th of March to the 2nd of April, we go drier than average. So I think broadly, the GMA and the CFS are in line with one another today, although they might be differing on the exact timings. But uh, they're both in agreement that we start very unsettled, low pressure coming in from the Atlantic. They both want it to be quite mild in week care, but I'm not sure it will be that mild in the weekend. It could be rather on the cool side, actually, but definitely unsettled. Uh, and then gradually, that probably carries on to the middle of March now. And then to say half March, we gradually start to increase the heights. We begin to build up some higher pressure from the south. It looks like it's a bit of a slow old process to get it going, but eventually, by particularly the last week of March, it looks like we're going to something significantly more anticyclonic, high pressure dominated and drier and that carries on to the beginning of April and as I said in the middle of the video the only caveat I would put on this is that both of these models were forecasting this change to high pressure to take place through the first half of March. A couple of weeks ago it was going to be like now and um, into the second week of March that we would see this change of high pressure. They push that back now to the second half of the month and particularly to the last week to 10 days of the month. Uh, now, as we go along, we are going to get a pattern change at some point, so this could be it, but I think we need to stay cautious about it a bit longer until we start seeing the shorter range picking up. You remember what happened a couple of weeks ago, the long range was very, uh, you know, very set on building high pressure through the first half of March. The short range, particularly the ECM, short range model out 10 days never went for it so until we start seeing these consistent signals within the shorter range not just the gfs but also particularly the ecm i think we need to stay cautious but at some point before much longer we have got to get a pattern change to something drier this could be it. it could be the second half of march uh will be the change or it may be a little bit late, it may be into April, but at some point we will get a significant change of pattern and we will start to dry out, which of course is the most important thing. Uh, right, so that's going to be Friday today. The hints are there for something drier for the second half of March, but caution at the moment is needed. Uh, we'll be back later on with your week's 10-day video update. Uh, there may not be a JMA Friday next week. We've got a busy day coming up on Friday next week. If I get it done for you in the afternoon next week, then I will do so. But it's possible we'll have to rest JMA Friday just for uh, next week. But I'll keep you posted uh, near over time. Uh, right, we'll be back later on with your week's 10-day video update. So come back for that then. But that's all for now, and thanks for watching.